Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Fairfield, Ohio, getting ready to take you guys along with us to Jungle Gems. Now there's not many grocery stores around that have a lion animatronic that sings Elvis, dressed as Elvis, that sings Elvis Presley songs every five minutes. But you can find it here at Jungle Gems. <laughs> Have you ever seen a grocery store that is so large that when you are lost, they actually have a store map that you can grab right here, right next to a barber's chair that you can sit at when you rest. Wow. So this gives you a better idea of your bearings when you're looking over here at Asia, for example, if you're looking for Asian food or Australian food, or if you span out the map here, you can see Africa, Europe, and we can expand it further for South America, North America, the whole entire world is represented here. They feature more than 180,000 products from 75 different countries. And right here is the map where you can locate the various countries and regions' foods from all around the world. We have actually filmed in a Jungle Gyms before in Cincinnati, but we are here today in Fairfield, Ohio, which is a suburb just right outside of Cincinnati. In fact, the Cincinnati Mall is just right up the road, so very close to Cincinnati, but this is the second jungle gyms that we have filmed here in the city of Ohio and there's only two locations this is one that I went to as a kid so I'm very excited to be back here today first time the boys have been here first time Jennifer's been here first time I've been here in probably about 30 35 years or so right up here we have the General Mills cereal characters jamming out it's a cereal bowl band And by the way, I forgot to mention that the Cereal Bowl Band is actually on top of a big, massive boat that's just right here in the middle of the grocery store, only at Jungle Gems. I don't know the relevance to Bart Simpson saying, hey dude, in the lettuce section here, but I'm really liking it. What are those, Henry? The crabs. Crabs and lobsters, lobsters. And you know that we're in the seafood section because when you look up, you can see Popeye and a whole bunch of other aquatic themed cartoons. We've got a marlin. We even have some seagulls up here. And check this out here at Jungle Gems. Even the Fifth Third Bank inside is jungle themed. Right here is the mini minnow so cool and look what is holding the mini minnow up it is this huge massive anchor now there are poles in many different grocery stores but they have actually taken this pole and converted it into a giraffe all these really cool pinatas that are hanging up here Here are all kinds of peppers and spices to make some really authentic and delicious Mexican food right from your house. So Henry attends a Christian preschool and actually 
learn about different cultures and countries from around the world. And what is that, Jennifer? It's called Duvaline. Duvaline. And it's skim milk candy with hazelnut, vanilla, and strawberry. Henry, do you like Duvaline? Was it good like when you tried it at school? It? Yeah. Check this out. What is it, Gentry? It's corn. And it appears that it may be down right now. Right here, we've got some strength and fitness with the C4. I want to fuck you up. Look at this. They've even decorated the air vents to where the elephant looks like it's blowing some water out of its nose. How awesome. Back here in the lunch meat section, here is the boar's head truck. If you're looking for Campbell's soup, you'll know exactly where to find it. Just look for the big soup can right above. Right here is the big cheese. It is a piece of cheese that weighs 762 pounds. If you're looking for ingredients for a charcuterie board, they've got them right here from all around the world. Cheese from Denmark, Belgium, Holland, Switzerland, Spain, France. And over here we've got cheese from England, Ireland, Australia, Germany. Of course, there's some of that really great taste of Kerrygold butter. It's Irish butter. So when you park at Jungle Gems, they have different animals that determine your parking. So we parked in giraffe, but if you park in Rhino, they have a special area that is just for you to check out in. So there are checkout areas all throughout this store based upon where you parked. That's where you want to check out. Here in the candy section, they have some M&Ms. Jennifer, what did you find there? I found potato candy. That's like an old fashioned candy that's really cheap to make. And I've never seen it actually sold though. You usually see like a somebody's grandma making it. I was gonna say, and you don't typically think of potatoes being sweet. You might have to try that. Yeah. Check this out, guys. It is the Sherwood Forest. We've got Robin Hood. And it looks as if we may be able to actually go underneath here. It, yes, we can. So, let's check it out. Oh, wow. There's some knights, some armor. Right here, it looks like we have some stuff from Mardi Gras. Oh, look, wow, look at that. There's a face. You guys see the face? Oh yeah. Mommy. Right there. Mommy. That is really Look neat. Look over here. A bagger, customer service for a cold Right here is an old Indian rickshaw. So I'd safely assume that we're probably getting into the Indian food section here. I would imagine that every jelly belly jelly bean that has ever existed is probably right here along this wall as far as the different flavors that have ever been made. Right here is the Amish cheese section. They actually have chicken as well. It's actually the Amish farm brand of chicken. This section here is really cool. It's exotic meats from around the world. There you can see an elk, a duck, a gator. Right here is a bison. Down here is some wild boar. Here's some venison sausage. Up here are some duck legs. And Jennifer pointed out this kind of looks like school lunch pizza right here. And here we are in the fresh food section. Starting off here with some mushrooms. Take a look at that. It is an oyster mushroom. These are trumpet king mushrooms. Here are some pickles from Pickle Paradise. Can you try it? Henry's gonna try a dill pickle here. Yeah. You can pick it out of there. Yeah, use your hands. You got it.
What do you think? Good. All right. Jennifer, what which type of pickle did you get? I got the hot deal. He said it has a little bit of a kick, and it looks like fresh cucumbers, too. Yeah. Very spicy, but really good. And guys, I'm playing it super safe with a sweet dill pickle. Here we are. Mm. It's very good. I'm, I'm a big fan of sweet pickles to begin with. That's excellent. It is a huge, massive piece. It's not thinly sliced. It's, it's very, very thick, as you can see, and very good. Check this out, guys. It is sugar cake. Florida sugar cane, three seventy nine per cane. That's really neat. Here we have some lotus roots, banana flowers, Bengali squash, Fatulu. This is called calabisi. Right here is aji peppers. This is a sequa and a list of foreign spices. Vegetables goes on and on. Right here with the soy sauce, there's a little village above the soy sauces. It's really cool. Periodically, they will have some cooking demonstrations, and here are some of those chefs that will provide those cooking demonstrations. But it is open to the public, and right up here is where they have the stage for those demonstrations. And right here in the ramen soup aisle, you can look up and you'll see King Kong. So if this pepper is not indication enough, this fire truck will definitely let you know that we are getting ready to enter this spicy food section. So you know this has to be hot when it's actually behind a glass barrier where you actually have to call for assistance to get it out. This is called plutonium. It's 9 million Scoville. I, I thought 2 million was actually like the highest that it went, but apparently not. 9 million. Look at that. You know it can't be good if there's a skull as the actual glass bottle on the outside. The world's hottest gummy bear, 899. Pick your pain. This is really cool. It looks like you're entering an actual village. Right there it says Scandinavia. Back here there's a bridge. Feels like we're in Louisiana here. These are interesting. Can't tell if that's strawberry cream or what this is. But it looks like it would be pretty good. Right here at Pedro's Restaurante, there's Pedro, and he's singing some Willie Nelson. And she's gonna hit the button. The King of Pop, Michael Jackson, right here in the pop aisle. Hit it, Henry. Another Michael Jackson song. Here's some enchilada soda, sweet corn, PB and J, strawberry watermelon. That might be pretty good, actually. Right here is some monster mucus. Yummy. Cookie dough bites, bacon soda with chocolate and bacon soda with maple syrup. And you can see it from a long ways away, but right here is the health food section. Jennifer, what'd you find there? They have Pennsylvania Dutch birch beer. <laughs> Yay! Same type that we've tried in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and when in Ohio, they've got the Buckeye State Scarlet Soda. And down here, this is interesting. This actually has ginseng root in the drink. Korean ginseng. Right here is the frozen food section. Little iced over, but you can see it's almost like a whole zoo of animatronics out here on your way out. 
And it would literally take probably two full days to film everything here at Jungle Gems, but they have a cookware section that's over here. All of your cookware needs, pots, pans, you name it, they've got it. There's even several aisles here that are just dedicated to kitchen knives alone. And over here is the crock pot section. Look at all these crock pots. This is a really cool stove pipe right here. There's no telling how old this is. Let's see if it opens up. It does not. And back here in this section, they have a bunch of items that are on clearance, such as these pitchers here, which are $9.99 a piece. Over here, we have a pasta drying rack. That's interesting. $10.49. These brownie pans here are only $2.49. There's a bunch of puzzles. And right up here, we have some Disney characters. Henry, Baby Yoda, Grogu, look, look up, right here. Who is that? Baby Yoda, Grogu. This is probably one of the largest lineup of these pops that I've ever seen. It's massive. This whole entire aisle here is nothing but, as you can see, the Mandalorian right up here. This is all Star Wars. They've got toys, books. Down here are some playing cards. They even have Star Wars Monopoly. There's Boba Fett right there. Some plush toys, cups some of the prices on these. And then back here, some Harry Potter merchandise. Get a little closer so you can see some of these prices here. Chalice. This grocery store is so massive, they even have a podcast studio that you can see back here. It looks like a lot of fun. Jungle Gems International Market Podcast. This is awesome right here. There's Thor's hammer. Yeah, Spider-Man, that's right. $169.99 Spider-Man electronic helmet. This is a collector's paradise right here. If you're into Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, the whole nine yards. This Thanos right here is going for $349.99. All right, everybody, that was Jungle Gems here in Fairfield, Ohio. Gentry, what did you, what did you think about Jungle Gems? What were some of the highlights that you enjoyed? I really liked the bobblehead section, and I also liked the King of Pop, <laughs> where you got to press the button. That was pretty fun, wasn't and it? I liked to get all the candies and smell them and stuff. All right. And Henry, what did you think, buddy? I pressed the button and my new Jackson. <laughs> you had fun hitting the button hearing the King of Pop songs. <laughs> what else did you like? I like Patito. Okay. So the giraffe and what else? Uh, the, the, um, the banana and the monkey and the giraffe. And also, I pressed the button. <laughs> you love pushing those <laughs> buttons in there, didn't you? A lot of cool animatronics. Jennifer, what did you think? I think it's really cool that you can experience different types of foods, spices, beverages, desserts, candies, things like that from around the world. So if that's something that, you know, you're not able to travel or anything like that, they're bringing it right to you right here. And I have to say, this is like a theme park grocery store. We said that in our last video, but it truly is. I mean, around every corner, there's something exciting and something that's really awesome to see. And I also have to say that this is a place that I visited as a kid. I remember it being so much larger as a kid. Of course, everyone does when you uh, have these really memorable experiences as a kid. You remember them as being so much larger and grander than they actually are as you see them as an adult. But I will say, even through an adult lens... 
I will say it is a, a really fun experience to come here. They have pretty much everything for everyone. It's an international market, some things I couldn't pronounce, some things I've never even seen in my entire life, like the mushrooms that we looked at earlier. Um, it, it's just a phenomenal, really fun place. Even if you're not buying anything, we, we bought some different things here. We bought some different spices and candies for the boys. Uh, mostly from the Mexico section, uh, some different types of Mexican candy that they had picked out to try. Uh, we tried, we bought, and we haven't tried it yet, some pumpkin pie uh, soda. So we're going to try that a little bit later once we have time to put it in the refrigerator. But all in all, great experience right here in Fairfield, Ohio, right outside of Cincinnati. I will say the one on the other end of town, which is actually in Cincinnati, is a little bit larger, but this one is still very, very cool. And guys, we thank you so much for joining us today on today's episode, and we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Every Day is Saturday.